well, here we are, Mary, Peggy, and Charlotte, and I am Anne, and we have been uh, going to the Black Lives Matter vigil for more than a year, and we have heard secondhand that people are criticizing us for being there. When they asked, why are we doing that? We were thinking, well, why are we doing it? And we want to share why we are here and answer that question as well as we can. So, so maybe, Mary, since you started all this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you um, try to explain why we're out there? Well, or why you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm out there because I really believe that we have a responsibility as a person living in a society to take care of everyone in that society, not just people who look like us. Um, and that's not happening. The social justice inequities are huge. The media catch on to a, a cause, like some of the brutality by the police, but then something else comes along, and then that goes out the window. So I have pledged not to let Black Lives Matter go out the window. I'm going to be there with my sun hat or my umbrella. Mary, of course, was the, the motivator. And I think when the vigil started, the, the background was the awareness that came out of the George Floyd murder and Breonna Taylor and others. And so we actually did have originally more people coming. As time passes and media attention moves elsewhere, it's possible that it loses some of the enthusiasm to stand there every week. But I think it's very important to do that. We don't live in a vacuum. We live in our country, and if there's a problem, it's everybody's problem. So I say, if you want to know why are we here, I want to know why aren't you. All right. Well, mine is just a gut reaction because of the oppression the African Americans have suffered under for the last 400 years. I wanted to stand with them as a support because if I don't do it and my friends don't do it, who will do it? Part of the reason I came down to the vigil was um, because Jane Curtis was there. She's been a citizen of Woodstock for a long, long time, and she's 103 now. And when I saw her holding the Black Lives Matter sign and standing at her walker, I thought, wow, I better get there. The Black Lives have had such a hell of a time all these years. I think we fought a civil war over that. We still haven't solved that problem. And I know I think you just have to keep fighting. Well, as, as one friend has a tagline on her email, all lives will not matter until black lives matter. And it really has to be addressed, the fact that we have spent you know, yeah. hundreds of years not advocating for the rights of all people. The majority of cars that go by do honk and do put thumbs up or wave. And there's more than the thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, there's thumbs down. And there's some fingers up, too. All lives matter. All of us. We've had some pretty harsh uh, encounters down there. Yeah. People driving by, rolling down their windows, and screaming something. Yeah, I have to admit to sometimes when a car slows down, I get a little scared. I mean, I still see that one gentleman's face when we couldn't hear him, but I could, I could tell that it was not good what he was saying. Hopefully, at some point, maybe those people think about it when they go home a little bit. Maybe they discuss things with other people. We need to talk about these things because if we keep thinking, oh, well, it doesn't affect me or it's not that big a deal here, then we don't resolve some important issues um, going forward. I've uh, heard just very recently a young woman who has moved to the area say that it's, there's much more um, racism, racist comments and, in Woodstock than where she was in the city 
down in the Jersey, Philly area. And, and then, um, you know, I had two incidents reported this week that were pretty horrifying. And, and so it's not all okay in Woodstock. It's a beautiful place, and I love living here, but we've got to make it a little more okay for everybody. I read this book, Cast, by Isabel Wilkerson. It's The Origins of Our Discontents. And page after page after page opened my eyes to the fact that we are all caught in supporting a system that is very racist. And the Black Lives Matter movement has given us a chance to say we care too. It's given us a place to stand. I just feel this is important enough. It's only for a half an hour, but um, I need to do it. You do what you have to do, and I can't join the, uh, the Black Lives down there. I'm here, but at least make it a subject that, that people can think about. If you feel something very strongly and, uh, and not really much is helping, you've got to get out and see if you can make something happen. You can't stop because you, you know, you, you take one step forward and then you're shoved back about three. Well, if you're lucky, as I have been, you are obliged to do what you can to make uh, black life better. You're obliged to do that. Look what we've been given. This wonderful land, this wonderful place, wonderful ideas that we have, and you have to do something to make those true, come true.